Hi, this is Phoenix. I'm a freelance designer and developer at CodeOnTonic.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can track your HubSpot form submits that you have added to your website with the help of Google Tag Manager and tracking in Google Analytics. Let's get started. So first of all, you will be creating a form in HubSpot. Uh, so this is pretty straightforward. You've probably done this already. One thing to note is that when tracking the uh, forms in HubSpot, uh, we can't actually get the name of the form. Let's say this is lead form number three. Uh, we cannot get this name in any way. So if you only have one form, this doesn't really matter. But if you have multiple, then you probably want to track which form was submitted. Now there are two ways. We can either add a hidden field uh, here to this form and add the name of the form to a hidden field, because we can actually send all these field values to Google Analytics, we just can't get the name of the form. But if we add a hidden form, a hidden field, then we can send that. The other way is that you will just be tracking where on your website uh, a form was submitted. Was it the contact page, the about page, a uh, specific blog post? So what was the URL where the conversion happened? And I'm actually going to do both. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new field and I'm going to choose the single line. I'm going to go with conversion information. This could be like analytics form name. I think that's going to be good. Uh, name of the form just for analytics. Uh, hidden field. Okay, looks pretty good. Great. Uh, next up, make sure to have the hidden name, uh, form name thing as the first one, as the first field in the form. Okay. Make this field hidden. We don't want to show this to anyone. It's just for our analytics. This looks good. And the default value, well, this will be the name of the form. So you will just copy that one and add it here. Okay, looks good. Publish the form. And here we will now embed this to our demo site. I'm using Squarespace, you can use whatever, WordPress, Shopify, Webflow. But in Squarespace, for example, you would be using the code block. So whatever is the easiest way in your CMS to add the form to a page. Okay, that's good. Uh, then let's head over to Google Analytics, actually. Here in Google Analytics admin, I'm going to create a property. This could be the HubSpot uh, form submit tracking demo, whatever. Okay. I'm going to create a universal analytics property. Um, and in this tutorial, I'm going to actually focus on the universal analytics. Okay, great. Um, so next up, we will head over to Google Tag Manager. And here we will create a container for web. This is the same name. Okay, web create. Cool. Now we will install Google Tag Manager to our website. In Squarespace, you use it, you, uh, you add it to uh, code injection. So this is under settings, advanced code injection. 
And here I actually got an old Google Tag Manager. I'm just gonna put the Google Tag Manager as the first thing on the website. Okay, great. Um, next up, we will start tagging our HubSpot stuff. So in Google Tag Manager, we will start with adding a listener tag. So what this tag does is it's going to listen for successful HubSpot form submits. So click on a new tag. Tag configuration, let's go with custom HTML. And here you will add a code that looks like this. So what this does, this is listening for information that's coming out of the HubSpot form, which is in an iframe. So it's listening for, you know, messages from, from inside the HubSpot and it's going to set them to our data layer. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. And we want this to be triggered on all pages. Okay, so that's the first step. Uh, next step is we will create a variable for our form name. So we will go to variables. And click on new. This could be our uh, form like HubSpot form name, something like this. So this will be a data layer variable. And this variable name is this one. So this is something that we're using in our previous tag, the a custom HTML tag, which is the listener thing. So the listener thing is listening for form submits and it is saving the form name as this variable thing. So we will grab this variable thing and make it into a data layer variable. Okay, that's step two. Then we will create, uh, we will create a trigger. Now we need a trigger to fire our Google Analytics tag. So the trigger could be like, I'm just gonna name this custom event uh, HubSpot form success. Okay. So this will be the type of custom event and the event name is this one. So what is going on here is that the first, first tag, the listener custom HTML tag uh, has this like a custom event name. So we're, we're waiting for this event to happen and then we will use that as a trigger because we need a trigger to trigger our Google Analytics tag. Okay, uh, yeah, this should be good. Then we will need our Google Analytics tag. And actually, I think we need to uh, create the Google Analytics variable first. So, So I'm heading over to the universal analytics property that we created. I'm actually gonna just take it from here using this app called Text Sniper. Really handy app. Can turn images into text. But anyway, you would go to, I think, admin and it's the tracking info, tracking code. Yeah, you would grab it this way. Okay, so variables and we will need to create a new 
Google Analytics setting, tracking ID, you can make this into a variable, but this is our Google Analytics, Universal Analytics setup. Okay, that looks good. Okay, a lot of tagging and variables and triggers. So our final one will be the actual uh, tag that's gonna finally send the information to our Google Analytics. For that one, we will use uh, Google Analytics. We will go with Universal Analytics for this demo. If you want the GA4 or if you want both, then kind of follow the similar steps for Google Analytics 4. So track type will be event. We're sending an event. Category could be something like form submits HubSpot, maybe something like this. Action could be submit at, and then we will want the page path. So what is happening here? In Google Analytics, when we see these events popping up, we can add a, kind of an action and a label and a category. They also can have value, but I don't think a numeric value is beneficial here. Anyway, uh, I think it's, it's nice that the label will be the name of the form, but the action, which is kind of the another parameter we can see actually in Google Analytics, could be a form submit at, and this will be the location. So submit as uh, at uh, home or submit at about or submit at blog slash 2022 slash, uh, you know, content marketing, blog post, whatever. So you can see where, where it happened. So for the label, we are using this data layer variable, which we created, which is the HubSpot uh, form name. For the Google Analytics setting, you should only have one. And trigger, this should be our custom event, uh, the form success custom event. All right. Uh, there's a lot of things going on here. Oh, forget to name. Um, HubSpot form submit. Maybe like Google Analytics event. I think this seems good. All right. Um, we're going to pre preview this and I'm actually going to head to another window to do that. Or let's see, maybe I will just log out of here. Okay, let's, let's go to preview. We will need to grab our website address. So the Google Tag Assistant opens up. This is for debugging stuff. So um, I think now, yeah, okay, <laughs> this is working because uh, Squarespace is logging me in. I'm gonna head over to another window. Okay. Okay, I think this is gonna be better. so. If you're not using Squarespace, you, you don't need to do this, but with Squarespace, uh, you need another window, like an incognito window or something. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, great. A 
I'm actually going to open the developer tools to make sure we're getting all that stuff here. Okay, looks good. Okay, HubSpot success listener and GA event were fired. Let's see if we can see it in our Google Analytics. Sorry for the two different uh, windows. Squarespace is a little bit tricky in that way. If we're admin logged in, then it's not gonna enable, uh, let us like debug stuff because it's in the Squarespace parent window and not the actual actual one. Okay. Real time events. Okay. Everything is now working. Uh, okay, so what is going on here? So in the tag assistant, we're able to debug. So here when, when we sent the form, we can see in the tag assist debugger thing that the Google Tag Manager has fired these tags, the form submit and the success listener. And indeed, in Google Analytics, when we go to real time and events and events in the last 30 minutes, we can see the form submit is is working. And, and we can see that the submit has happened at the uh, slash form address. Unfortunately, in the real time view uh, in Google Analytics, Universal Analytics, we can't see the label, but the label will be the name of the form. Uh, th this is why I open this uh, developer console because here we can check that the uh, form name is the lead form three, uh, three that we created. So give it maybe a 24 hours or uh, 48 hours and we will see it here. I hope this was useful. Uh, let me know if you need any help. I'm also happy to uh, make these installations for anyone. Thanks for watching.